Just what, what have you picked up on? What are the strengths? Well, I think our, our youth, our speed, our quickness is going to be our strength this season. You know, obviously, um, we want to make improvements and steps towards uh, you know just building something special. Here. When you see guys like Victor and, and Alfred, young guys with a lot of talent, do you try to you know stay on them every day and keep them consistent and with the message? No, not really stay on them. I think uh, you know you just lead by. I, I kind of lead by example. Just continue to work hard and put forth, put forth the effort. You know when I come in here, but. You know, those guys can play, man. They they uh they get after it, and you know we're gonna lean on them, lean on those guys this season. So uh, hopefully uh, we all can just do our part. What does it take for a young team that's had two losing seasons like this to the pass and to try to play? I think it takes everyone buying in and uh, visually, you know, seeing us uh, make strides to being successful. And uh, that doesn't happen overnight. You know, it, it starts tomorrow and. You know, it's a lot of hard work and dedication that goes into it, but it's doing the little things, being fundamental every single night. This, this is a cliche, but taking it one step at a time, I don't think we want to get ahead of ourselves. A lot of people today have talked about how Victor's been stepping up as a leader, uh, both vocally and with his play. What is it about a guy like that that can make him a leader just in his second year in the league? Well, number one, he's talented. And anytime you have that kind of talent, um, it just takes uh, maturity. And when you put both together, talent, maturity, work ethic, you know, sky's the limit. And I think he's starting to realize that. What kind of what kind of wisdom or experience can, can you or a player like Luke impart on, on the young guards on his team? So, you know, Alfred's in his rookie year, Victor's gonna be the second year for all the young guys. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, just our experiences, um, and uh, you know, our journey throughout the league and, and Helping those guys make the next make, make the next step forward, but you know we're also learning. I'm gonna learn from them. You know, uh, they're a talented young group of guys, and you know, they keep you young, and you need that in this league. You know, but you know, we, we all have to do our part in, in helping this team win games, and uh, you know, they're gonna ask to have big roles on this team. We understand that, and uh, when they when they need me, I'll be right there for them. Everyone knows that there's always you know rookie mistakes, rookie speed bumps. As a guard, you know, for a guy like Alfred, what do you tell him to, to worry about? At least, you know, there's going to be turnovers. There's going to be low shooting percentage nights. Which which one is that do you tell him to kind of worry about the least? I would tell him to have a short memory. You know, the, the next game comes so quick, and you know you got to be a next play guy. And when I say next play, you can't dwell on the mistakes. You're gonna make plenty of them. It's a part of it. You just learn from it. And, Guys that have a short memory and can go on to the next play and forget if they shot an air ball or turn the ball over, whatever it is, uh, you know, they can be successful. Out of all the teams that you've been with throughout your career, how would you rate this team already as far as offseason camaraderie and chemistry goes? Because it seems like you guys have been doing a lot of work together. Yeah, you know what? I try not to compare. Every, I think every situation is different. Um, but, you know, this is a unique group. This is a unique situation for me. I've been with veteran teams the last few years, but uh, it's a it's a great challenge for all of us. Uh, and I think that this organization is committed to getting, getting better and making improvements. Uh, we've been together doing a lot of little things together, yoga classes and kickboxing and boxing and all of those things. And I think that builds uh, camaraderie and that, that builds trust. That's what it's going to take for us to, you know, to continue to improve. We got to trust in one another. Which of those three you like the best? <laughs> I like boxing. Boxing was fun. You know, I like Pilates over yoga. Okay. Yeah. I know in your time in the league, you've been to a lot of arenas, a lot of cities. What do you make of Orlando as a sports city? I know you guys are kind of the big ticket here. Mm -hmm. I think just from being here a short while, I think that the fans are really passionate about this team. I think the, the organization does a good job of uh, being present in the community. I think that's important. Um, so now it's up to us as uh, representatives of this organization and, and, and this community to go out and put forth the effort every single night. Have you had a chance to meet with like Bo Outlaw and Nick Anderson, the community ambassadors here with the team? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, you know, I played against some. Of, it's crazy. I played against some of those guys, Bo, especially Bo. But um, you know, I'm sure I have more talks with them and you know how the fans view us and what we can do to, to make it better. Thanks, Will. Thanks.